Good day everyone. At the moment, our South African government is enabling every single thing and every single avenue outside of brute force to try and persuade people of South Africa, citizens of South Africa, to be vaccinated with the COVID-19 vaccine. And they have a right to do what they are doing as a government they have a right to do many things under our current constitution. It does not mean that we accept that right. And we have a right to exercise our freedom with the one free thing we have left. And that is at the ballot box to change the governance system that enable things like this. And I want to give you my basic simple take on this. Any government that respects people's freedoms will allow people to make their own choices, even when others don't agree with them. If you're not directly, physically hurting someone, you can take action to isolate yourself in a hole in the ground in uh, the middle of the Antarctic if you have access, if you want to isolate yourself from something. It is up to you to do that. But in normal civil society, what people are speaking of now is a new normal. They are trying to create a new normal and for people to think that this new normal is okay. And the majority of people in South Africa have rejected this based on statistics. And because most South Africans are not accepting this new normal, the government had to go to tactics where they use companies, employers, churches, and all sorts of institutions with bribery of discounts um, a threat of people being fired, etc., to get people to do something they do not want to do. That is coercion, it is blackmail, you can call it many other things. But what the government has done is done everything outside of physical brute force to do the unthinkable. Remove your freedom to make a choice of what is being put inside your body. And this is a huge problem. And I am deeply concerned with where this will go in the South African political playing field because these politicians have never dealt with anything like this. In most countries in the world, it was very quick for those countries to have more than 50% of the people vaccinated. This is not the case in South Africa. Only a third of South Africans have been vaccinated to date. And because of this low uptake, our government is at a loss for words and are going to the absolute extreme to try and force people outside of brute force to take the vaccination. And the resistance is growing daily, the visible resistance, because the resistance in people not wanting the vaccine is clear in them not going to get the vaccine when it was available. And the interesting thing is here that it's mostly people in cities that have resisted it, telling you that people with vehicles and transport to vaccination sites have chosen not to do it. And the government needs to really think long and deep and long and hard about why this is the case. Where have they gone wrong? And maybe they need to look at what they have presented to the people of this country and what the mainstream media has presented to the people of the country and how the people chose to interpret that information. And once you look at that, you will see that these people have been given no reason, no proper or valid reason at this point for them to be jumping for joy to go to vaccination sites. And even the researchers that have given those six hints on how to convince people to get vaccinated agree with us, agree that our government and uh, other global organizations have not given people any reason to be relieved at taking this vaccination. So what is the right thing to do? The right thing to do is for liberty and freedom of choice to trump anything else. And when you do this, you will see why people over the ages have been willing to lay down their life for the freedom to choose and now you are asking them to stop living. That they must actually now, to stay alive, give up their freedom. And people in this country are not there. They are still willing to die for freedom. And you should think about what that means. 
as a South African government and President Cyril Ramaphosa, I would advise you to seriously consider what I'm saying now. That the people in this country are still willing to die for freedom, just like people have throughout the ages. And that they are not going to hand over their freedom to stay alive. They want to live life to the fullest, enjoy life to the fullest, and they are willing to take risks to do that. And you as a government have no right to dictate to people how they should live their life. You have no right to dictate to people how they should stay alive. And this is where you are going wrong. And this is why we will change the governance system, change the constitution, and put a new governance system in place where we can directly elect our leaders. So those of you that are new to this channel, go to the Facebook group, hashtag direct elections, and see what it's all about. Why we should elect our president directly, elect our MPs directly, elect our mayors directly, and elect our councillors directly. Why we should get rid of this party gang system that we find ourselves in right now, where people can literally concoct together to come up with a plan to take your freedom away. The people of this country are speaking, not have spoken, they are still speaking, and you will learn as you go along what their voice says. And like I say once again, no one person is above the law, but we, the people of South Africa, are the law. And when we make that cross on the 1st of November, it's one way of exercising the little bit of democracy that we have been given so that we can change this political system. And as I continue with the 10 question challenge, it will become clear to you who will provide you with freedom in future. Thank you very much. Till the next video.